friends welcome back to current affairs this is uh, facts and figures from 2017 onwards this weekend modules that is uh, news at a glance as well as questions and answers are bifurcated into why and how at the same time facts and figures why and how is basically the issues which require more explanation facts and figures are having more facts and as well as more statistical information and i would like to give some more information that is different story and these two are bifurcated based on the requirement of explanation and look at the first one veteran film actor om puri died of heart attack in mumbai and he is known for his talent not only in mainstream films but also in parallel cinema you may have a doubt what is the meant by parallel cinema parallel cinema is basically the movement which is started in west bengal initially and the cinema based on the realities the cinema based on the socio economic contexts as well as based on real issues are categorized under parallel cinema and he is known for his performance not only in parallel cinema but also in mainstream films and i listed some films here akrosh sadgati arohan ardhasachcha and he also acted in english films like gandhi city of joy in custody right and these are some pictures indicating his uh, acting of films in uh, hindi as well as english films look at the next one name the state which attracted maximum foreign direct investment during the first 6 months of the financial year foreign direct investment figures are tracked by department of industrial policy and promotion or dipp dipp is under the ministry of commerce and industry and this monitors the figures of fdi and as per the figures released the state which is the leading in foreign direct investment with the 50% of equity inflows is maharashtra so maharashtra is the answer for this question and if you look at the next one the fifth edition of national mini koi festival was flagged off by union minister of civil aviation the state we are talking about this is in fact the union territory that is lakshadweep right so we are talking about the lakshadweep and this is in arabian sea this lakshadweep please look into this and at the same time please view the picture of this festival and look at the next one ntpc has commissioned unit 1 of 800 megawatt kudgi super thermal power project and this kudgi super thermal power project is in karnataka so the answer here is karnataka and ntpc on its own is producing 41000 megawatt and its group is producing 48000 megawatt and this is not that important and this is kudgi super thermal power project being built in karnataka then the next one is name the bank which launched ec pay mobile application for merchants this is launched by icici bank and at the same time this enables the payments through unified payments interface through any credit or debit card and at the same time internet banking and its own app pockets pockets is the own app of icici bank and the payments can be made through any of these so if someone talks about easy pay that is launched by icici bank to look at the next one the prime minister narendra modi addressed the nation on the eve of a new year on 31st december in fact he gave some concessions to the rural poor as well as urban poor at the same time he gave some concessions to the small entrepreneurs and if you look at various aspects home loans in villages rupees 2 lakh up to rupees 2 lakh will get 3% interest exemption and all of you are familiar with the interest subvention that means the interest of 3% here will be paid by the central government to the banks 
on behalf of the poor person right so that is known as interest subvention interest subvention is quite familiar in agriculture loans and now for the home loans in villages up to rupees 2 lakh interest exemption is 3% and another important decision is 30 million kisan credit cards will be converted into rupee kisan cards at the same time government will pay interest of 60 days of loans taken by farmers because of demonetization and at the same time nabard will give rupees 20000 crore for giving loans to cooperatives at low interest rates and other aspects i have listed here arpanpur arpanpur will get interest subvention of 4% up to 9 lakh if they are taking loan up to rupees 9 lakh interest subsidy will be 4% that is paid by the central government then at the same time for loans up to rupees 12 lakh interest subvention is 3% and for small entrepreneurs the credit guarantee for micro small and medium enterprises is doubled to rupees 2 crore previously it was rupees 1 crore it is increased to rupees 2 crore and another important aspect is with regard to senior citizens senior citizens will have fixed interest of 8% because nowadays in recent days interest rate structure is reducing and so as to protect the interests of senior citizens because most of the senior citizens are dependent on interest income as the senior citizens are dependent on interest income to protect them this 8% interest will be given to them up to rupees 7.5 lakh deposits for a period of 10 years then other important aspect is this pregnant woman will get rupees 6000 directly transferred into their bank accounts right so these are the things announced on the eve of a new year day 51 days after demonetization basically to support the poor people in the country and if you look at the next one total deposits of scheduled commercial banks stood at 98 lakh crores of rupees as on march 2016 and the banks deposit growth banks credit growth these two are very very important bank deposits growth is at around 10% but the credit growth last year was around 8% or 9% and deposit growth as well as credit growth are not supporting gdp growth gdp growth is 7 to 7.5% but deposit growth as well as credit growth are not on the expected range of 15 16 17% that is the biggest worry in our country at present credit growth is not satisfactory because of several problems such as gross npas and the second important point is if you look at the deposits 61.5% deposits are by households 62% of the deposits you can say are by households households include individuals self employed professionals salary earners like that right friends let us move on japanese prime minister shinzo abe has visited us naval base at pearl harbor he offered sincere and everlasting condolences what is so special about pearl harbor pearl harbor please look into this picture please look into this this is the location of pearl harbor in pacific ocean and this belongs to united states of america and in the year 1941 pearl harbor was attacked by japan pearl harbor was attacked by japan in 1941 and subsequently united states of america entered into second world war and the united states of america dropped atom bombs on hiroshima and nagasaki in 1945 so the attack by japan on the pearl harbor of united states of america dragged usa into second world war 
and Japanese Prime Minister visited this Pearl Harbor. Right, let us move on. The next one is Carrie Fisher, famous actor known for her Star Wars series. She is best known for her iconic performance as Princess Leia in the Star Wars series. She died and at the same time, her mother, Debbie Reynolds, she also died after one day. So, Debbie Reynolds is famous in her classic film of 1952. So, Carrie Fisher as well as Debbie Reynolds died recently. And if you look at the next one, the last functioning bridge over River Tigris in Mosul was put out of service by US-led coalition forces. And please don't forget, Mosul city is in Iraq. Please look into this picture. All of you are familiar with Iraq as well as Syria. These two under civil war and Mosul city was captured by Islamic State. Now Iraqi government is trying to evacuate this IS from Mosul city. And in this regard, this Mosul bridge was put out of service so as to prevent the movement of Islamic State forces. And if you look at the river system, this is most important river system. If you look at the West Asia, this is the Tigris Euphrates river system. Tigris Euphrates river system primarily flows through Turkey, Syria as well as Iraq. And this is important river system in these three countries, right? And Mosul is situated on the banks of river Tigris in Iraq. Look into the next one. Ratan P. Wattel committee recommended to levy handling charge for cash payments above certain limit. Ratan P. Wattel committee basically established to give recommendations on digital payments. It recommended reducing cash transactions and I have given various recommendations here. Please go through them. But government is yet to accept recommendations. Further recommendations I have given here. Please go through them. Basically, Ratan P. Wattel Committee recommended transitioning into electronic platform for government payments. Right? And Please look into this. He is the former finance secretary, Ratan P. Wattel, who gave report on digital payments. Right? Look into the next one. Serbia tennis player, who was world's number one in 2008. At the same time, who won French Open tennis tournament? And here, please don't forget, French Open is one of four Grand Slam tennis tournaments, that is one part. And the second aspect is French Open is also called Roland Garros. This is another important aspect. And famous Serbia tennis player Anna Ivanovic announced her retirement. Please look into this picture. She is the famous tennis player from Serbia. And look into the next one. Viral Acharya became the deputy governor of Reserve Bank of India. And two, three important aspects I would like to tell you. As per Reserve Bank of India Act 1934, Reserve Bank of India can have one governor, four deputy governors and he will have a term of three years and out of four deputy governors, two are promoted within the ranks of RBI and one is normally commercial banker and one is normally economist and he is at present a Professor of Economics in New York University Stern School of Business. Please look into this picture. This is a Stern School of Business of New York University. The world-class universities are maintained to utmost standards because of the endowments by the people who get out of those colleges. That is the practice in Western countries. And look into the next one. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs approved Rs. 11,700 crore project to improve rural road connectivity in the worst affected left-wing extremism districts. 
what is meant by left wing extremism districts left wing extremism districts or the districts affected by naxal activities and under pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana rural infrastructure will be improved right look into the next one pakistan opened china backed 340 megawatt nuclear power plant in punjab province please don't forget pakistan has got four provinces and punjab is most important province and 340 megawatt nuclear power plant was opened and it indicates that china is behind pakistan in several aspects in recent times so china and pakistan are becoming the two close and the target of pakistan for nuclear power generation is 8800 megawatt by 2030 and china started operations of one of the world's longest high speed railways of length 2252 kilometers and this connects commercial city of shanghai with kunming and travel time will be just 11 hours for a length of 2252 kilometers maximum speed of this bullet train will be 330 kilometers per hour and another important aspect is the total length of bullet trains in china crossed almost 20000 kilometers please look into this this is one beautiful picture of this bullet train journey in china it completed almost 20000 kilometers of high speed train routes or you can say bullet train routes anil baisal is going to be the lieutenant governor of delhi and nazib zing resigned and anil baisal who was former union home secretary who was associated with jawaharlal nehru national urban mission which was launched by manmohan singh government and he worked as home secretary under atal bihari vajpayee government and he is 69 batch ias officer and he is lieutenant governor of delhi nascom telecom operators as well as niti aayog they came together to create a national dedicated helpline 1444 this is basically to address all the queries on digital payments so to address all the queries on digital payments 14444 is going to be the helpline and another important aspect is the committee to promote digital transactions the convener is chandrababu naidu he said that plans are there to import 1 million point of sale machines to enable cashless payments across india and 14444 this is going to be the helpline for digital payments right friends look at the next one the center plans to build 2 million tons of buffer stock for pulses and we are facing problem of pulses our production is just 17 million tons our requirement is 24 million tons pulses is the food basically which gives proteins and proteins are very important at growing stage of human being so 2 million tons just like what we store for rice as well as wheat just like rice and wheat 2 million tons of buffer stock will be created for pulses and the next one national organic farming research institute this is coming up in gangtok and another important aspect i would like to tell you sikkim is the first organic state in the country you may have a doubt what is meant by organic state organic state means the usage of chemical fertilizers and pesticides will not be there and it will be with the usage of natural manure right so this is basically a theory of organic state and sikkim is the first organic state and to recognize the efforts of sikkim when you look at organic state 
the central government has sanctioned national organic farming research institute for gang fact in sikkim look into the next one this is with regard to government has met the target of 1.5 crore lpg connections under pradhan mantri ujjwala yojana and please don't forget when you look at lpg one thing is a pahal please don't forget pahal is basically transferring money directly into the bank accounts that is a direct benefit transfer for lpg and it entered into guinness book of world records with 16 crore accounts and the second point is give it up give it up is a campaign by the prime minister to give up lpg subsidy by the rich people third one is pradhan mantri ujjwala yojana this is basically to give support to the poor people to get lpg connection the support given by the central government is rupees 1600 per each connection and the total target for 3 years is 5 crore connections and out of 5 crore connections 1 and 1/2 crore is this year's target and this is achieved within 8 months and another important aspect is uttar pradesh is leading with 46 lakh connections and the national lpg coverage in the households the national lpg coverage in the households increased from 61% to 70% basically prevention of indoor air pollution is most important aspect several women are losing lives because of indoor air pollution and this lpg coverage increased from 61% of households to 70% of households and this is a good sign when you look at indoor air pollution is concerned right friends and here the beneficiaries are selected based on socio economic caste census this is another important aspect and if you look at the next one world's highest bridge this is hanging at 565 meters above a gorge that was built in china and it is around 140 million dollars and it is world's highest bridge and eight out of the world's 10 highest completed bridges are now located in china please look into this picture it shows the picture of world's highest bridge right look into the next one kochin shipyard has delivered 20th fast petrol vessel to the indian coast guard which is known as icgs ayush kochin shipyard delivered icgs ayush to the indian coast guard and what is the purpose of this fast petrol vessels the purpose of fast petrol vessels are basically to secure indian waters by patrolling within exclusive economic zone exclusive economic zone extends up to 200 nautical miles and there they carry out anti smuggling anti piracy search and rescue operations for that purpose this fast petrol vessels are used and this is Indian Coast Guard fast petrol vessel and name the e-commerce chain which won the patent for flying the warehouse in USA in fact this is airborne fulfillment center this center will be floating not on the ground if you are ordering some mobile phone if you are ordering some mobile phone it will be sent through the drones from this airborne fulfillment center airborne fulfillment center will be floating at an altitude of 45000 feet and when the item is delivered from airborne floating center or airborne fulfillment center then this drones requires little power because a drone is gliding down instead of taking off from land so that is the advantage of this airborne fulfillment center and amazon got the patent for this in usa and in future airborne fulfillment center and delivery through drones may become quite common right please look into this picture 
and in future drones will deliver you the articles from airborne fulfillment center and which of the following is giving the loan assistance for 558 kilometers of road projects and a BBIN motor vehicle agreement Asian Development Bank is giving loan assistance and this BBIN motor vehicle agreement basically to have theoretically seamless travel between four countries or you can say among four countries the four countries are India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan so these four countries you will have seamless connectivity in future not only for goods but also for people look into the next one name the state government which launched Arogya Raksha this Arogya Raksha will provide medical insurance at rupees 100 per month so this is for above poverty line families it is named as NTR Arogya Raksha launched by Andhra Pradesh government and rupees 1200 per annum it will give insurance up to rupees 2 lakh of free treatment for 1044 diseases right this is NTR Arogya Raksha then name the organization which released images of the world's most powerful operational rocket Falcon Heavy this is SpaceX SpaceX is the private space organization based in United States of America please don't forget SpaceX is promoted by Elon Musk and who is also behind electric vehicles and this Falcon Heavy rocket can lift 54,000 kg of satellites into orbit and this will be the world's highest payload and it can carry twice the payload of the next most powerful rocket Delta IV right? it is scheduled for launch in 2017 right? and please look into this this is a long march rocket this belongs to China please don't forget and at the same time Aryan space rocket rockets are used to place the satellites into orbit and this Aryan belongs to European Space Agency and Delta IV Heavy belongs to USA and this belongs to United Launch Alliance of USA these things don't forget Air Chief Marshal Birendra Singh Dhanova took charge as a new Air Force Chief please look into this Bipin Rawat became 27th Chief of Indian Army and B.S. Dhanova became 22nd Chief of Indian Air Force so these things don't forget 22nd Chief of Indian Air Force then 27th Indian Army Chief is Bipin Rawat and please don't forget the Navy Chief is Sunil Lanba and if you look at the last one the Prime Minister led the foundation stone for highways to connect the four pilgrimage places in the northern part of the country that is Chardham Chardham is situated in Uttarakhand and here four places Kedarnath, Badrinath, Gangotri, Emunotri these the four places have got the historical significance Kedarnath is famous for the pilgrimage of Shaivas then Badrinath is Vaishnavite pilgrimage then Gangotri birthplace of Ganges river Emunotri birthplace of Emuna and these four are situated in Uttarakhand and government approved the project to connect these four places with highways and Gangotri, Emunotri at the same time, Badrinath, Kedarnath, these four will be connected and this is rupees 12,000 crore project and the total length is 889 kilometers and these highways are situated in Uttarakhand popularly known as Chardham. Right friends, this is all about facts and figures and please view and become knowledgeable citizen that is the goal of a learning space and please do join for other capsules and at the same time please do join for newspaper editorial discussion which will be immensely benefiting you with this let us conclude facts and figures have a nice day thank you thanks a lot